All right, guys, so today I want to hook up a battery that has communications to the EG4 6000 XP. When I first played around with this inverter, I didn't have a battery that had communications, so I ended up actually having to set it up as a lead acid battery because having it set to lithium without communications to the battery I was not able to get it to work. There might be some way to do it, but today I've got a rack mount battery. And this is made by Bean Brothers. And uh, Christopher Bean actually makes these here in Texas. And uh, some of you guys might know him. He has a, a YouTube channel as well. But if you don't know, I'll leave some links in the description so you can check out his website. He's got some great stuff. But so this battery has a Pace BMS. We can go into the menu and we can see that it supports multiple protocols. So let's go to the CAN protocol. So it supports Pace, Pylon, GrowWatt, SMA, and Studer. So we're going to actually set this to Pylon because the EG4 has a setting for Pylon. There we go. And now it is set to pylon. So we can actually go to see what the current protocol is. Hit enter. And now we see the CAN protocol is set to pylon. Uh, the other thing that I need to do here is set this to ID1. And then we're just going to use the cable, the CAN cable that came with the EG4 6000 XP. It's going to be this port right here. The port that says battery com. There we go. Now we're going to plug the other end into our battery, the CAN bus port right here. And then looking through our manual for the 6000 XP, we're going to want to go to menu item three all we need to do is just hold down the enter button until we get into the settings we're going to go to three which is the battery enter uh, right now it's like i said it's set to lead acid we're going to change that to a lithium ion we're going to press enter and it's asking for a battery brand we're going to set that to two because that's the pylon setting. Enter and it recycles. All right, so now we can see that the battery is being detected as a 130 amp hour, 53.3 uh, volts, and it's at 99%. So the communications is now working. So that's really easy. You can hook these up to third party batteries pretty much no problem. Just as long as there's some different protocols you can select in the battery that you have. Pretty sure as long as you have one that's, that supports pylon, as you can see here, we can select pylon in the inverter and it communicates perfectly fine. Oh yeah, and I, I forgot to mention that this battery is 130 amp hours. Uh, we can see here where it says capacity 130 amp hours so this is bigger than our typical 100 amp hour 48 volt battery mr christopher bean has packed in some extra battery capacity into these things all right guys so i think that's going to be it for the video i hope you found that helpful or at least entertaining in some way <laughs> throw your comments down in the comment section and as always i'll catch you in the next one